Hi everyone, how are you? On today to do the monthly challenge for the Jean Owens design team and this month our challenge is to use tissue or collage and use it. Um, I'm going to use I've decided to make some tissue paper embellishments and I'm going to use this little guy here out of Gina's Set 8 Ellie and Friends stamp set because he's just so cute. <laughs> I just love this stamp set. I can't get enough of it. It's just absolutely awesome. Alright, so I'm going to use him and I've just got some, I'm just recycling some white tissue paper as you can see there and I'm going to stamp him out on my tissue paper I might just, I'm just going to put a bit of foam underneath so that um, it just helps with the, the stamping so I can get a decent print from it and I'm just going to stamp him out a couple of times on my tissue paper there we go that'll do I've been experimenting for this month's challenge and I just thought oh this was so so easy to do as long as you're careful because the tissue paper can get thin because now I'm going to add some watercolour paints on it and these watercolours they're just the cheap ones because well because I don't really want to use my other ones they're good ones <laughs> and I was just experimenting so I thought I'd just use these ones right okay I need some sort of brush okay and I'm just going to be very careful like I'm not going to be heavy-handed and I'm just going to put a bit of color on this little cutie and I'm just doing it very gently because the the tissue paper um, can rip or tear so I'm just going very carefully using some watercolor and I'm not I'm going to try and leave it there until it dries I've just got another piece of paper underneath and really I should have a piece of baking paper underneath <coughs> actually I might just put that there now because I will have to move him right so you just be very careful right I've got a piece of baking paper underneath now and let's give him Oh, I forgot his ears. I'll do them in a minute. Okay, so I've got a bit of colour on my little 
I'd call him a little a lion, I think. A little lion. And I'll just use the heat tool to dry that faster. All right. So I've got some colour on my little lion on the tissue paper. And I haven't ripped him or anything. And now I'm just going to outline the... Um, I'm just going to outline him just to make... Um, just so that it, his features and that show up a little bit better. And I do this very carefully because I don't want the, the Sharpie pen to actually go through or penetrate the the tissue paper okay so I've outlined the um, the little line now I'll just give that another blow with the heat gun Now, to make my embellishment, I'm going to add some of this, the Dimensional Magic, uh, straight onto him and straight onto the tissue paper. The one I've got here has got the little sparkles through it, and this is by Mod Podge, and I think this, this is the gold one. So I've got some of that in a little um, pour container and all I'm going to do is just very carefully go over all my little, <coughs> I'm just going to very carefully go over my lion and then I'm going to let him dry and trying to keep it as flat as possible which is a little bit hard sometimes okay I'm just checking going on the side to make sure I haven't got any bubbles in it and that I've covered everything And when I put this on, I make sure that I go just over the, ed the edge of the line there, just so that I still have that definition of the outside of the stamp. Okay, so I'm going to let him dry. And I normally, I let them dry overnight. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but he's got little sparkles in him. And this is, don't forget, this is on the tissue paper. And when he's dried, he actually looks like this. Uh, how can I give... I've got my light on in my bedroom, in my, in my bedroom, in my craft room. And... The tissue paper, I had it stick at the back, with the, the, where you've put the dimensional magic, it is very strong. Like I wouldn't pull it really hard, but it's, it's a lot stronger and you're a lot easier to work with. Um, to get the tissue paper off around the sides, I just dip a brush in just some water and I just run the water right along the edge of where I've put, um, just right around the edge of the stamp. Oh God, I've got no words today. Just to wet the tissue paper. So this is just to wet the tissue paper and then I just gently 
rip the excess tissue paper off. You still do have a little bit of overhang with the tissue but you know it, then you can get a small just a small pair of scissors and if you want to just cut right up along it along the edge of it but that's okay for me that'll do that's fine and there you have it tissue paper embellishment so I'll show you some other ones that I've been doing and having fun with doing I've got the the little bunny There's ones. the little bunny ones I've been doing and this is all out of the set number eight of Gina's R and stamp set. There's the little bunny rub um bunny rugs. <laughs> little bunny rabbits. And like you could use these for tags, for ATCs, for journal pages. There's the little cutie giraffe and my oh, I think I told you my dimensional magic has sparkles in it so I'm not sure if it's picking it up on camera but you can actually see the little gold sparkles or colored sparkles in there and a little elephant little Ellie and there's another one of the the little lions they're so cute they're just adorable and if you get the light just at the right spot you can see all the little sparkles on it and plus I also had a play with um, painting some painting the whole tissue paper first um, and I just done some stamping and then put the dimensional magic on these ones as well and I thought I could use these ones to make altered paper clips or something like yeah, that okay and here is a little tag that I have actually stuck the little Ellie elephant on I just made up a tag and I done that same process and just glued one of these straight onto my tag the little embellishment this one here the tissue paper kind of like creased up a little so I think they turned out look how cute that is that's just absolutely gorgeous And Absolutely. when I was having a another having a play with the tissue paper, I stamped the little rabbit onto some tissue paper using the embossing ink and then just used the heat tool to um, to activate it, to activate the embossing powder. And I stuck the tissue down on this tag. And then I just used the Dimensional Magic after it was dried down straight onto the tag. And I've done the same with the word friend. I'll just quickly show you how that works because, you know, um, I just, I was really amazed that I could actually use my heat gun on the tissue paper and it didn't burn. So I'll just do that tissue paper for you and I've got some baking paper just to put on top of the tissue paper and I'll use the same little um, little fella that I used for the other embellishment and see how I go with him because I've only just used the small little rabbit but how cool is that? And like, even if you had like Gina's stamp set with this gorgeous little rabbit, you could make heaps of cards or tags for Easter because that's coming up, isn't it? Yes, too fast. Okay. Now I'm just going, this, I've just put the embossing um, ink on here. And I'm trying to get a clean 
stamp with it. So let me see how I went. Because I'm really still in practice mode with this embossing. Right. Uh, I'll just tip that straight onto there. See how I went. So this is just straight onto the tissue paper. That looks pretty cool. I'll just put you there and get rid of this. And it does go through the tissue paper. That's why I had that down there. So I'll turn that over. Now you just be very careful. I'll just heat my heat gun up first and that way I don't have to be on the tissue paper for too long. There you go. And look at that. An embossed embossing done on tissue paper. How cool is that? So that's how I done this little tag here with this little fella. And then once I put the bunny rabbit onto the tag, which the tag's just got um, a collaged background of my little uh, hand painted label stickers. He's a cute little tag. And he should be dry Here's now. My, yep. That's my project done for this month's Gina Aaron's design team making some little tissue paper embellishments doing a little embossing using em the embossing technique on on the tissue but, paper and I just think they're so cool look at them they're just gorgeous and that was painting on the tissue paper first And you can use them, like like I said, for tags, for ATCs, for index cards, for journal pages, for your mixed media canvases. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I just love them. And they turned out really well. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you try some for yourself. Um, go and get some of this Dimensional Magic go and purchase some of Gina's stamps <laughs> and just have fun and there's the little giraffe okay thanks very much I'll catch you all later bye bye